Hello everybody and welcome back to the OS World Cup 2021 quarterfinals weekend. We are approaching the end of the weekend now and goodness me it's been a crazy weekend. But we may have saved the best for last. The next game on stream is going to be a winner's bracket matchup. And uh, we've seen this one before haven't we? It's the United States versus the United Kingdom. In, you know, all intents and purposes it's relatively standard style. But it does have plenty of those fast bursts hitting you constantly at 261 BPM. <laughs> this is a, yeah, an unrelenting map, to say the least here. But we're going to get started. A couple act drops for some players here. Most notably, Fancy Lad, Digital Hypno, and Carthy. Meanwhile, Bubbleman and Maturi bringing up those double S's alongside Utami. Not too much to say about the beginning of this map. It doesn't really get super intensive until you get right into this key eye. So right here, as we get a little bit of a banjo section. Now we got it. Actually for the UK, and a big one at that right now. A bit of a slow start for some of the players on the US, but with no misses, you know, not really too much of an issue so far, but the act could really matter on a map like this, you know. Really could in a matchup like this. Yeah, that digital hypno act, and there goes Fancy Lad actually with the first break. The captain of the United States team to find the first miss in the lobby. Digital hypno 90% accuracy as well. That's not doing any favors for the United States team. He's about a hundred thousand behind the next closest player, and Fancy Lad's gonna break again. Understreaming that, I think, or missing a key or something. But yeah, a few early breaks here for the captain as well. Digital hypno is struggling. Is at 91% full combo right now. Bit of a slow start here for the US, gotta be said. Very much so. Halfway through the map right now, the UK rocking three mid-99% accuracies right now. If that doesn't scream confidence, I don't know what does. Look at that. Right through that last long stream there. Malteser and Majora getting a little jittery right there. I don't know if that was just fixing up their pens a bit, but a little bit of some jitters there. You can see a little bit in there. They know they have insurance, but they can't rest on their levels yet. Still with three FCs bearing them down. But there's only a quarter of the map to go with Digital Hypno's act. He's, he's almost down 200k to his teammates here, despite full comboing. That's a lot of scrubs missing. It very much is. Carthy does finally find a break, but the UK has most likely done enough right now. Five, six hundred thousand score lead into the last couple seconds of the map, and unless the UK has a complete meltdown with a three-way break right here, and I just cannot see that happening, there's no way the United States take this. And a massive act lead for the UK into the ending here. Look at that. Wow. He's talking about confidence. That shows a lot of confidence. Sealing that one out and sealing it out in great style. First blood will go to the UK here. And the US drops their first point in the tournament. Yeah, no problems at all on this one for these two, surely. Itami as well, very capable on this. Airview, known for crazy old map scores. This is exactly the sort of thing he's known for. Yeah, what a roster for this sort of thing. Oof, both teams. Let's both see who both. holds it. <laughs> it's very short, but this is a short one, so breaks can flick this over incredibly quickly. So, uh, watch closely. This map for, uh, very much rewards consistency uh, more than accuracy. Aryu's going to find the first break for the United States very early. It's not going to mean too much, but Utami's break will. The United States is already falling apart just a couple seconds into the map. It's early, but this is such a short map. But Aryu finds a break to trade it up right now. It's favoring the United Kingdom right now. Even if the beginning breaks from the United States don't mean too much, it is a little bit telling on how confident they are on this map. Majori does find a second break, but the UK is going to maintain a combo lead unless Bubble Man breaks. 2FC to 2. All square with a bit of advantage for the UK as we get into the second half of this. Pretty much a carbon copy of the first. They need to see a break from the United States soon. This score is going to go back over so quickly with Utami's combo now. Aryu is outscoring Majori. They need a break from the United States if they want to take this, but there goes Utami. That's going to keep it close. Oh, it's a double oh break from God. the United States! Two FCs to nothing as we get into the hard section at the end here. Not over yet, but there's basically no combo on the US apart from Aryu. 
You cannot do that if you are the United States. That is a double break air you, the only one left with a combo with no FC sitting on that. Kingling finally drops into the ending, but it's Malteser to bring it into the end for the United Kingdom. 1.1 million score just above Kingling. And the UK take the first point away from the United States and... Well, right into the map, we'll see who maintains it. If the UK can keep that consistency down pat, they are going to have a good time here. You've got Air You Fancy Lad, Fiery Rage Utami. I did I, I did actually neglect to mention Fiery earlier, a very well-versed precision player as well. Not a surprise at all that he's in for this. When you have a roster like the US, it's even a player like Fiery, it's easy to get lost in the shuffle because they're just so good. I totally agree though, he is one of the premier players for this sort of style, especially on anything Harbok related, free mod and as well the rest of the Harbok pools here. Absolutely. Airy is going to find a very early break. He did on the last map as well, but it's not going to matter as much here. About a minute longer on this and Bubble Man's actually going to find the first break to trade it for the United Kingdom. So the combo lead's actually going to go to the United States because of Airy's break being so early on in the map here. But there is time for recovery. It's fairly lengthy, this. Plenty of time. It's not super long, but not super short. It's not at all, but again, it's mentioning that UK is fighting that uphill battle now. They are down that FC, and basically they're at the mercy of the United States finding a break right now. Kingling, Carthy, and Majora can do as well as they want, but unless they see a break from the United States, they're basically just waiting for that chance. The score lead, however, will remain rather close as Utami breaks! Slipping on a bit of aim there, handing the initiative to the UK again. This is the UK's chance right here. They have to run away with it. We're, we're approaching the halfway point in the map, and we all know any break at halfway caps your score to 600,000, and it's going to be Carthy! Ooh. Directional change caught him out there. Just before the slow part, too, with the advantage slightly on the red team side as we get to the you know, second half here. Kingling and Majori on that accuracy are going to have to put the work in here. Bubble Man has recovered very well from that earlier break. It's actually the only thing keeping the UK kind of in this right now. Aryu as well recovered beautifully from that break right at the beginning here. But this is going to go back to the United States with a combo lead because of that double Carthy break there as well. It's looking like a confident point for the United States right now unless we see a break. And yeah, there goes Majori. Oh, a big chain miss too. That's a big slip now. It is really with the US now. Looking in a great spot to recover this with those three 1k combos. Unfortunately for the UK, I think this is all but over here. Air you fancy let Fire Age basically a three-way full combo. It's just Kingling and Bubble Man to fight them off right now. Despite the second Utami break into the last slider of the United States. Given how the beginning of this map looked, I don't think we could have predicted which way this map was going to go, but that consistency from Fancy Lad and Fiery Rage prevailing. Majori with that chain miss, just unfortunate at the ending. The United States will get themselves on the board. Well, anything can happen here, Chilia, so hey. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I believe. When your team has Carthy and Bubble Man, you never know. Uh, Kingling into this is interesting, but he does tend to fill for a lot of the uh, hiddens. But all, all, you know, even more Ooh. interestingly, Voss in here on hidden. Don't you yeah. expect to see him play hidden? He's um, I guess he, he's fairly well versed in hidden, so I guess it is uh, does make sense. Although he does normally take up more of the, the mechanically intensive maps rather than than technically. Um, this map does kind of, I think, fall on the technically intensive side. Carthy is going to find a break along with Utami at the beginning, but so will Voss. But it's a double Kingling and Fiery Rage trade. That's not good for the UK. Just Bob Man with the only FC here for the UK versus almost three. The early yeah. miss from Utami, we can forgive him for that. Not going to matter too much yet. Again, it's a three-way full combo, basically, for the United States. It's something very similar to what we saw in that Hard Rock Precision pick here. And again, the UK just has to be consistent enough to outscore these potential three-way full combos here. And right now, they're coming pretty close, but just not enough. They need to see another break from the US without trading it, might I add. build-up section right here, and now we get into another very difficult section, and Fiery Rage Kingling trades it! 
That's better for the UK than it is for the US, but I think they were about even. But Voss breaking in is not going to do any favors, unfortunately. Nah, it just needs more. They need to drop two of those big combos for this to happen at this point. Only a bit of the map to go. There goes one. one. That's one. We're relying on Utakito to break, though. <laughs> That doesn't happen. Yeah, really? Really? I would. I mean, Ut Utami is your basically your best bet, and when you have to sit here and say that Utami is your best bet of finding a break, you're really not looking good. And with Karthi missing, um, I think those chances have just closed. Unfortunately, Takito is on a singular 100 right now. Just the one. It's l very lonely. It could use there a friend. Is, there is no way that Takito just did that. That's oh actually my. insane. <laughs> that's, so cool. that's so good. <laughs> That's so good. Takito is an absolute boss. On hidden maps, there's arguably no one better when it comes to this technical style. Just incredible. Um, we've seen a lot of players maybe finding a couple little over aims here on this. There is some aim on this that is fairly difficult aside from the streams. You know, those stacked doubles can catch you off guard if you're nervous. Oh, for sure. There's a decent amount of aim in this. Mostly about the speed, but you do have to deal with the aim as well. You can't be lazy. If anything, that's where the misses are going to be. Absolutely. They got Exarch back in for this one as well. Exarch has been absolutely insane on these Nomad 5s and these speedier picks in the tournament thus far. So he's going to be good for the United States to have in on this. He's a very consistent player as well. Um, I think you're looking at, you know, almost a guaranteed FC right there. And of course, Malteser pulling out all the stops for the UK earlier in the match here. We'll see if he's able to do that again. He's been looking very good this year as well. Kind of one of the newer additions to the roster last year um, has certainly come into form now. Let's see, arson accuracy right now, but Bubble Man's hanging right with him. Once again, Fancy Lad a bit lower on the accuracy, bouncing at 96. Gonna have a couple longer streams now in this key eye section here. You're gonna have to start to rely on that stamina. Fancy Lad is going for combo game right now, which is very good on a map like this. And again, it's gonna come down to that first break from either of these two teams. We mentioned it before the map started. The first one to find a miss is gonna let this slip away, and the UK needs it to be the United States. Who blinks first? Yeah, basically. <laughs> This is so tense. Both teams holding well. The accuracy improving for Fancy. He's comfortable now. It really this is coming down to one slip. This will be tragedy if someone misses. I'm like, I'm like biting my nails right now. This is just down to the wire. Oh, this is... Third. Oh, it's going to be so close, though. It's still in favor of the UK just by a little bit for the accuracy. If this is an eight-way FC into the ending, the UK takes it. They cannot find a break on this last bit. There's Axe Drops, but nobody misses into the last slider. It's going to be into the last couple streams here. And the UK takes it on oh, Ack. Eight-way full combo. <laughs> That's an eight-way full combo. Eight Can you way. believe this? Oh, my God. And look at Arison's Ack as well. But he's on oh. the losing team. That is Incredible. dirty. That is dirty accuracy from Arison. Relentless. What? Yeah, you know, things to split them up just yet. I don't think yeah. this won't do too much, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see who's feeling the slider aim today. I think that's the big thing here. You know, this is not necessarily an aim test for the entire time, but it does come down to how well you can follow some of these sliders. You know, you leave just a second too early. You miss that one slider tick, and, you know, you drop so much combo off of that. So this, this is this is one that could be a toss-up, regardless of how confident the United States is on this. You can never be too sure with maps like this. Fancy Land Fiery Wolf breaking that space pattern at the beginning, but that's a little early in the map, and that pattern is probably the most RNG in the map you can build. It's like 150% chance of hitting that. Yeah, I've seen a few teams to drop some early combos to that. It's not going to be too consequential, I think. It is an athlete for the UK, though. There we go, then, getting into those kick sliders now. You mentioned about the sliders, you've really got to be careful. Follow those, don't drop too much app. In this matchup, that accuracy is going to be pretty big. See, we're looking out for those breaks from these players here. There's blue for the first one. Again, those sliders, but it's Voss as well. 
UK not with a great start on this map. The United States might have had those earlier breaks, but those ones towards the later parts of the map will matter more as a double break for the United States. Chito with a break. That's uncharacteristic from him. He won't fill in the FC. Certainly is uncharacteristic from him, but I guess this is the type of map that is where the uncharacteristic breaks come from. Blue Boss, Takito Fire Agent, Fancy Lads, the first break from the United States that didn't already drop. It's Jemzy, Bubble Man, and Utami. That's going to favor the UK. One more section to go. So there's a break in the middle. If they can get there, it's going to be pretty big. UK's got some free combo coming to them if they're able to hold through here. Bubble Man's got good accuracy. Gemzy is specifically in for aim picks right here, and they've made it to the slower section here. They have to hold through this. This is a requirement for the UK right now. It's on the back of Utami as well to hold for the US. I'm investing in Gemzy right now. Oh, no, my God! What are you doing? Oh, no! It's crashed. It's crashed. Oh. This is do or die for both of these teams. If the United States loses this, they lose another break point to the United Kingdom and risk going to max point on the UK's pick. They need to win their map. It's pretty much this style all the way to the end now. No more breaks. Oh, it's lost! What's with the US here? The US is going to take this right now unless they see a break from Utami or Fiery Rage, and it's Fiery, Fiery Rage! It might not be enough, though. The United States might be able to maintain this. Jemzy barely has a lead on Fancy Lad, and it's not enough. The map was too far gone. Ah, uh, Utami, though. Holding his nerve against Bubble Man there. It was one FC to one with those supporting combos, but it was so critical. Utami held there. Getting that full combo on the board. Um, kind of let that one slip away. They're looking for that redemption on this Hard Rock 3 again. I think they're looking for Kingling to put up that performance. It's a lot of pressure for him, though. I mean, I think you go into this maps and it's kind of the same thing that, you know, maybe like Fancy Lad Utami and Bubble Man feel very constantly. You know, you go in and then these whole high profile matches, you need to put up that good performance. And it's a lot of pressure in high stakes uh, conditions here. So... You know, Kingling being able to perform given those circumstances is something impressive enough. We'll see how the rest of the players fare on this. This is a map that I believe Fancy Lad should be very good at. Yeah, Ant is going to be fine. Fiery is going to be fine. We tell me and Harry, you are going to be fine. Everyone in this lobby is going to be fine, really. But I think there's that much in it in terms of, uh, you know, comparing it on paper. I'd actually give the edge maybe to the US if I was uh, going to look into it, but... UK clearly picking this. They know what they're doing. They certainly do. I think they're kind of hoping for some unfortunate breaks from the United States and those early two picks. You saw some underperformances from the US team, and I think the UK is just looking for that. They know that they're strong on the Hard Rock maps. They just need the United States to find that, you know, maybe 10% chance of finding a miss on an awkward pattern and the UK holding combo through it. They've got strong rosters on both sides, so you really are kind of wishing on nothing. Uh, all these players have the potential to full combo this map on a given day. I'd say Maltesers might be Ooh. the least comfortable, but there goes Fiery! That's the first one, almost halfway through, by the way. This is the level of player we're dealing with. Advantage UK. That's a rough place to break for Fiery, too. He's not too happy about that. A little bit of a cursor dance before that last slider. He's not feeling too good there, but... The map is certainly not over yet. You mentioned just before halfway here, so any break from either team is still going to make a difference here. It's not the other. This is big. 
Oh, Kingling with the break on the UK. Their first break. Three Maybe. to three now. Maybe that pressure getting to him. I didn't see if it was a slider break or a miss or not, but again, that, that the pressure of being someone expected to put up that FC is certainly not something you want. Fiery breaks again, though. Still combo back in favor of the UK here. It was a Banjo break, but then it actually broke. That was interesting. <laughs> Worked out. Here comes the bridge. UK needs to hold three FCs right now. This is very big ask. Bubbleman and Malteser are running rough on the accuracies right now. It's just under a 200,000 lead for the United Kingdom. It's not going to go anywhere unless Majori finds a break on the aim section. That might have done it. Unless the US finds a break. On the chorus now. It is with the US just about. The US has time. Majority breaks again. Now, oh, but Utami Ooh, breaks! It's with UK again. It is! Aerie breaks too! The US is losing it right at the ending of the map! It's just fiery. Maltese with a break. 1FC to 1. I wonder if it's 2. Ever uses a uh, banjo break. Bit the Bubble Man finds a break! It's gonna be right down to the ending here! The United States! Oh, not enough. No, they take it by 16,000. It's wrong on the client. The United States wins it by 16,000. They were born ready. All four of these guys. The, the, the squad of players on the UK can deal with this as well. But undoubtedly, a really strong pick here for the US. We'll see, though. We'll see. Watch those accuracies on this. See who's combo gaming and who isn't. Well, early parts of the map here, we're not going to be seeing too much fly, it's just some accuracy. We'll see who is able to maintain this. This is a very difficult map, again, technically intensive, requires a lot of finger and aim control here. You've got to be ready. It's almost, it's, I mean, it's a more, I don't want to call it like a more dense alt map, but it is very flow aim. Yeah, plenty of flow aim in this, plenty of aim control as well. I don't know. I mean, the UK, they've been playing well thus far. I just, given the United States track record, I don't know if I envisioned them losing a Nomad 6 when they picked it themselves. But again, anything can happen. The UK has surprised me this match. So has the United States. Both teams have been giving it their absolute all. A little bit too much in some cases. But we'll see. Right now, no breaks from either team. Again, is this going to come down to another whoever breaks first map? Here. When maps like this become a wait for the first break map, like a third and <laughs> halfway in, it's like, it's like, what are we dealing with here? Well, there it is, though. Majority gets the first break for the UK. All four of accuracy for the US, sitting pretty. Oh, Bubble Man with the break as well for the UK. Four FCs to two now. Well, well, getting into the second half of this, which is even rougher on the rhythms. Even harder to act now. Watch those sliders. Kingling and Parthi holding strong for the UK, but it's a four-way FC for the United States halfway through the map right now. But Jory is going to find another break. Not super comfortable on this map here. Unfortunately, that break from Bubble Man not doing them any favors as well. Majori continuing to not be super comfortable here. The United States, again, you mentioned, I, I mentioned, you know, it's going to be hard pressed to see the United States lose a Nomad 6 pick that they've chosen. Um, they're kind of, you know, staying true to their name of being a very strong gimmick team right now. There goes Fiery with a slider breaker with Utami as well, actually. Hold on. <laughs> Hold up. There's not a lot, though, on the UK on those recoveries. There is probably 400, but it's not going to be enough yet. But it's not over quite yet, and any more picks happen for the US. A chance, for sure. There is a ch Oh, it was a Bancho Mr. Mutami. Oh, Never mind. God. Yeah, all right, chance is gone. Never mind. Yeah. Moving on. It's still with the US. It would be very close, and again, I mentioned that break from Bubble Man earlier in the map is so unfortunate because this is three FCs to three right now. But there goes Carthy, and there would have gone the chances of the United Kingdom winning this map with that, and that is going to be a match point. For the United States, 5-3. to three. The United Kingdom is now going to have to fight their way through two picks in a row to 
force a potential tiebreaker here. Luckily for them, they've got their own pick to start it off here. Another double break from Midori and Karthi, and then we're going to come to the end. And Kingling actually very confident on this one. Look at the hack as well. Kingling's having such a great game, has to be said, in the map he's coming for. Very yeah. well played. But you know who else is well played? The US right now. They have three FCs on that. That's crazy. That's just crazy. Destruction on that map. There it is! Here, here we go. Let's go. Back That's on it. the saddle. After a nice it little is. break there. <laughs> the UK, this is, whether or not we like to think of it or not, is their last chance to stay in this match. The, unfortunately for them as well, the pick after this will also be their last chance to stay in this match. So they've got two last chances right now. Uh, they're going to have to make use of it right now. Hopefully, again, that uh, pause that we took in between these two maps doesn't affect either team too much. Um, we do still like to see some close competitive gameplay. Tommy, the only one with an early break in the map. We've seen that um, from a couple of the United States players today. It hasn't really mattered too much. Maybe it's just a nerve elimination tactic. There was no teaser. Very uncharacteristic. Three to three in the opening exchanges. A little bit of a favor for the United States in terms of combo, but the UK is holding up their accuracy well enough that it doesn't make as much of a difference here. So we're going to sit right down the middle for a while. Utami's got about double Maltesers combo. There goes Fiery Rage, so that combo lead is now gone. First chorus here, slightly wider spacing. Looking for that next big break. We've seen a couple early ones here. Fiery Rage is basically the most influential break on the match thus far. Maltesers and Utami is very negligible, especially Maltesers with that accuracy right there. Um, he does find another miss aim, though. Malteser with that aim, just not super comfortable right now. Yeah, a couple slips holding the ack, but it's all about that aim. His team has his back, but only just. Not too much in it, really. I mean, yeah, it's the difference between Malteser and Fiery and Utami right now. It's three FCs to technically two. We'll count Utami. He's a little bit behind, but the loss that Malteser has experienced is greater than what Utami lost from missing as well. Same thing with Fiery Rage. So the UK is going to need another break from the US in order to win this pick right now. The score lead will go back with this combo lead for the US. And Bubble Man's going to find a break. That is awful for them. But Fiery breaks, but that's going to favor the US. Yeah, and it's on Majora and Voss to hold it here for the UK. Try and keep them in this game. The break as well. If the US saw that, they know they're in a good spot. The solo in the final core has to go yet. Yeah, it's a DT aim pick too. You're really just hoping for an unfortunate miss from either of these teams. Malteser, I'm sure he's beating himself up over those two early misses right now. I think this would be rather close. Without that break, I mean, you can even see just how close the score lead. And there goes Voss, and I think that might do it for the United Kingdom. The United States still holding three FCs. There's nothing that the UK can do about it right now. The United States would have to have a complete meltdown at the end of this map. Majora can only do so much. And the accuracy is incredible for Majora, but it is going to be too little too late. The US are running away. Fancy finds the late break, but Utami and Airview recovered in this game nicely. Utami getting some FC, or possibly FCs, or high scores on the board at least, and really starting to push his team through this. He's break. the only one left. If Malteser or Bubbleman held through a combo, the United Kingdom would have had this one right in the bag. There goes Majoria right at the ending. Malteser and Bubbleman are going to hit it until the ending, but it's far too late for the United Kingdom. The United States despite being down quite a bit at the beginning of this match, will finally prevail in the end. It is going to be a 6-3 to three victory for them. Some unfortunate Banjo issues, some misses for both teams, and a well-fought victory for them. If there's one thing we've learned from this matchup, though, sure, the US have won it, and they've won it with some massive points. They look so strong on those control picks. And that run on that DT1. But let's